Hi guys, this is a, a short tutorial on how to edit templates in Home Inspector Pro. To uh, edit the template is to change the actual physical structure within your report. So section names, the names of the items within the sections, etc. The uh, To get to the edit template, we're going to hit the edit template button. And that'll open up our editor. Just to kind of uh, get everyone uh, used to the names that I'm using, these items with uh, dots next to them are sections. So grounds is a section, exterior is a section, garage is a section. And then items within the section are garage roof, walls, floors, rafters, electrical. Any of these can be changed. The folders are representative of the menus across the top of the program. General info, outside house, structure, utilities. Those have no effect on the physical end result report. These are just for sorting. I could add everything under one menu and the report would end up being the exact same. In this case, we have things sorted just to make them easier and quicker to access throughout the report. Any section can be moved from one menu to another. So I could take the garage, for example, and I can left click and hold and I can drag it down into the structure. And now if I click OK or done and go look at structure, you'll see the garage is now there and it's no longer in outside of the house. So when I click edit template and make changes, those changes are immediately um, reflected in the report. So I'm going to move those back. I can double click any section name to, make, to change the name of it. If I want to add a new section, I would just click on the section, let's say outside house type in the name of the new section and click on add and you'll see an outhouse is added here and that has nothing in it because it was just created as a brand new section. If I go to outside house here you can see that new section is there. I can also just remove that. So if I want to make a copy of the section, let's say I have a mother-in-law suite in the house, I can go to kitchen and click on copy give it a unique name, mother-in-law kitchen, and click on OK. And you'll see that that new mother-in-law kitchen is down at the bottom. And you'll see it has all the exact same items that the original kitchen had. If I go to outside, or sorry, if I go to inside house, mother-in-law kitchen has all those exact same things. Now to add new items to the section, I would come over to the right side. So selected kitchen on the left, on the right hand side, I'm going to click on add. And in this case, the, the top gives an introduction here and kind of discusses the differences, but we have a damage panel, which is our observations. Uh, those items can be marked as summary, not summary. They can be colorized, red, black, or additional colors. And those can have photos associated with them. Um, then we have selection panels, which are meant for like material types, locations, uh, things that you're not really rating, you're just saying they, they are or not. So I'm going to add a one damage panel here and I'm going to call it uh, hot water dispenser. Now the tab name is what appears on the top. That does not appear on the report. That's just for your reference. So for example, hot water dispenser is a long tab name. I want to keep these short so I can get through things quickly. If I give the damage panel name is the name that actually appears in the report. That appears here, and I can move these up and down, and that will make a change on the port. So if I go to kitchen right now, you can see that hot water is there, no comments. You can go to edit template, go back to kitchen, and you can actually see it move as I move things around here. Once I'm done, I would just click on done, and that would exit out of edit template if I wanted to. Um, the selection panel would be Let's say I have one damage and one selection panel, which is one of the most common in the program. Uh, I could say I wanted to add a refrigerator tab. So under the selection panel name, either refrigerator type or refrigerator brand, click on done. You'll see refrigerator appeared. And now to edit comments and add new comments, that's the edit comments button. So I click on add and I could type in uh, 
I want uh, GE, add another, Samsung, add another, and I can keep adding as many narratives or uh, brands as I wanted to, and down here I can add in all my observations. So going back to edit template, um, under kitchen, you can see that refrigerator's there. I can also double tap this at any time and change the name of the tab name, the damage panel name, and the selection panel name. So that if I wanted to, you know, add something else in there, just call it fridge, you know, it's the tab name. I can do that right here. Click on done. If you have any questions about uh, how to add a, edit a template, you can contact us at help at homeinspectorpro.com. You can also call us at 888-750-4777. Thank you very much.